Hi, Hudinki. Hi, Watch Fam. Uh, my name is Noor Rizvi. I'm from Islamabad, Pakistan, and I'm a watch collector and avid reader of Hudinki, and this is my watch story. Um, uh, the watch I've chosen to show you today is the uh, my FP Jean Elegant 48. It's an electromechanical timepiece. Um, and for all you uh, mechanical snobs out there, yes, it is a quartz watch. And uh, be rest assured, I am equally as snobby when it comes to mechanical watches. And I never thought that I would be the sort of person to pull the trigger on a quartz watch. But this, is just, this isn't just any quartz watch. Um, and uh, for those of you who know, uh, this watch is in titanium. It's not at all been gypped in terms of the fit and finishing of the watch. It's completely up to Franz Paul's standards. Um, but let me tell you a bit about why I bought this watch and why I got into it uh, and decided to go for this and why it symbolizes so much for me. Um, I picked up the watch in 2016 um, from Los Angeles. Uh, I was visiting uh, a dear friend of mine um, after many years uh, when I went there for work. Um, I, I was reuniting with him after eight years and I had my eye on this watch for quite a while. Um, and I've always been fascinated with independence, but for some reason, uh, for all of you who know, independence are not really that easy to get into due to, due to the price point. But this was one uh, brand which has always fascinated me. And, you know, the finish of François Paul, his philosophy, uh, everything is just be, is incredible. Uh, so uh, when I got an opportunity to buy this watch, I didn't think twice. Um, and the reason why it was important was one was because, like I told you, it was the same trip where I reunited my friend after many years. And the second thing was that it was around the time when I had just left my job in Dubai, my previous job, and I had decided to take the plunge and move back to Pakistan and join my family business and start from scratch. Um, and it was a bit of a nerving time. It was a scary time. I was uh, walking into the unknown. I had to walk into a whole new industry. Um, and it was, there was a lot of questions around that time. And, you know, luckily now, uh, you know, I've succeeded. But at that time, it was something which was a big decision for me and my wife to have made, uh, especially considering we had a son at that time. Um, and the third reason why this watch is so important to me is that I'm sure like any dad uh, who's a watch geek out there, you try and p push down this obsession to your kids. Uh, and this was the one watch out of all of them which has always mesmerized my son the most. Um, and the reason being that, you know, after 30 minutes, this watch goes to sleep. Uh, and, you know, at four o'clock, this rotor, when shifted, uh, the watch wakes up and then the watch travels the shortest distance back to the actual time or the, or the actual time it was put down or the latest time because uh, it's still keeping time at the back. So whenever that wake up process happens and the hands move automatically, it's something magical. And that's something which till today mesmerizes my son. And, you know, he's totally God smack when he sees it happen. And till today, it's the same with me. Uh, uh, and, you know, this is one watch which I would definitely pass down to him. I mean, there's no question about it because of sort of the connection he has with it, uh, the way I see his eyes light up when he sees it wake up. Um, and for all those reasons, this watch is probably something which uh, will stay with me forever. Uh, and I hope to be able to collect more of François Paul's things in the future uh, because of the philosophy and the wisdom of the brand and his artisanship and his finishing. Um, so this is my watch story and this is why, uh, this is, this is why this watch is important to me. So I hope I've done something in my own way to sort of keep you guys entertained during this weird time. Um, and I look forward to hearing more of your stories, um, cause they've been a huge help for me. So take care and we'll be in touch. Uh, thanks Odinki.